Since his debut in the early 70s, Wolverine has etched his place as an iconic character around the world. People might not be aware of the X-Men, but if you're not aware of Logan, you're definitely living under a rock. Over the decades, Wolverine has undergone a remarkable evolution, transcending the confines of comic book pages to become a beloved character in multiple universes and across various mediums. From his humble beginnings as a stubborn and combative Canadian government agent with adamantium claws to the complex and multifaceted figure he is today, Logan's journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. Throughout the years, Logan's emotional complexity, moral ambiguity, tragic origin, unbreakable spirit, diverse relationships, sense of honor, and personal growth have made him an enduring and beloved character in the Marvel Universe. Beyond the comic book medium, Wolverine's popularity has also extended to animated TV shows, video games, and blockbuster movies, solidifying his status as an iconic superhero in popular culture. From his origins to alternate timelines, Wolverine's journey encompasses the full gamut of changes, reflecting a character that has left an indelible mark on the hearts of fans across the globe. In this video, we'll intricately cover every appearance and evolution of Wolverine's character to this day in the Marvel Universe. So, without wasting another moment, let's get right to it. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Wolverine's debut and clash with Hulk. We first witness Wolverine in the 180th issue of the Incredible Hulk comic series. The narrative commences with the Hulk's abrupt descent onto a farm in upstate New York, where a farmer named Jasper confronts the behemoth for damaging his brand new fence. Unfazed by Jasper's fearlessness, the Hulk expresses genuine remorse before dismissing the notion of apologizing to a puny human and bounding away. As the Hulk ventures into Canada, he unknowingly triggers the Canadian Air Force's detection system, causing them to recall his previous visit to the country and the result it bore, leading them to deploy their specialized unit, Weapon X. In a well-prepared attempt to monitor the Hulk's activities, a military commander gives the order to mobilize Weapon X. Meanwhile, the Hulk's path leads him to Quebec, where he encounters a Marie Cartier and a Georges Baptiste. Now, Marie is desperate to free her brother Paul from the curse of the monstrous Wendigo and devises a plan involving an occult ritual to transfer the Wendigo's essence into a surrogate host, which is, of course, the Hulk. Though Georges disapproves of Marie's intentions, she remains steadfast willing to curse another to save her brother. Amidst the dark atmosphere of the cave, the Hulk hears a mysterious feminine voice that drives him into greater fits of anger. As the tension builds, he faces off against the Wendigo in an epic clash that shakes the very foundation of the forest. Just as the battle reaches its peak, an unexpected character emerges from the shadows, which turns out to be Wolverine, who was introduced as the costumed adventurer with metal claws. The ensuing encounter is a relentless and intense struggle, as Wolverine attempts to pierce the Hulk's seemingly impenetrable skin with his adamantium claws. When he realizes that the Wendigo may be an easier target, Wolverine shifts his focus, dealing fatal blows to the monstrous creature. Seeing a change of scenario, a confused Hulk senses an opportunity and joins forces with Wolverine to halt the Wendigo's rampage. Their fight may have brought them on the same page for a brief time, but it really doesn't end there. After rendering the immortal Wendigo unconscious, Wolverine takes on the Hulk and both engage in a crazy altercation until Mary Carter intervenes by knocking them unconscious through chemicals, leading to a desperate attempt to transfer the Wendigo spirit into the Hulk. However, the ritual fails when both the heroes regain consciousness at the wrong time and resume their fight, leaving Marie to flee. With the ritual remaining incomplete, Georges Baptiste becomes the new Wendigo and runs away into the wilderness. Now, on the other hand, Hulk keeps throwing swift punches toward Wolverine, who also responds with equally fierce blows. As the story unfolds, much to his annoyance, Wolverine's superiors intervene to capture the Hulk, but he escapes their clutches, fleeing into the countryside. Throughout the intricate web of events that have followed ever since, the paths of Wolverine and the Hulk have remained intertwined, leading to unexpected alliances and heart-wrenching tragedies. Before being the coveted Weapon X, Wolverine, a boy named James Howlett, was born to Elizabeth and John Howlett Sr. in the vast landscapes of Alberta, Canada. As the second child and often sickly, James led a relatively sheltered life. In the early 1900s, a young Irish girl named Rose O'Hara became his friend, alongside being the caretaker at the Howlett estate. Together, they formed a close bond amidst their tranquil surroundings. However, their peaceful existence was disrupted when a young boy named Dog, the son of the groundskeeper Thomas Logan, entered their lives. Despite Dog's attempts to connect with James and Rose, 
because his life was marred by his father's abusive behavior and resentment toward his station. Tragically, the situation escalated when Dog made inappropriate advances toward Rose, prompting James to report the incident to his father. This report set off a chain of events that resulted in Thomas Logan's dismissal from his position, consumed by anger and desperation. Thomas sought Elizabeth Howlett, attempting to convince her to leave with him. Yep, Wolverine's mother had an affair with the groundskeeper. Anyways, in a confrontation that turned deadly, John Howlett, his father, lost his life, leaving James in absolute shock, which completely triggered him and manifested his latent mutant powers. With newly extended claws, he stabbed Thomas Logan, inadvertently killing him and lashed out, leaving dogs scarred across his face. Fleeing the scene with Rose, James adopted the name Logan in an attempt to hide his true identity. Together, they traversed the harsh Canadian wilderness where James' mental state deteriorated, leaving him near catatonic. Despite the hardships, Rose courageously took on the responsibility of guiding them, keeping them safe. Eventually, they sought refuge at a mine, where they assumed false names to avoid detection. The other workers at the mine admired Logan's tenacious spirit and dubbed him the Wolverine due to his relentless digging prowess. Embracing him as one of their own, they appreciated his incredible work ethic and the strength he brought to the community. However, their newfound peace was shattered when Dog resurfaced, still nursing his grudge against Logan over his father's death. Driven by a desire for vengeance, Dog challenged Logan to a fight to the death. Although Logan initially refused, he eventually relented, leading to a brutal confrontation. During the fight, tragedy struck once again when Rose attempted to intervene, inadvertently getting fatally stabbed by Laclaus. Her death left Logan grief-stricken and mourning, alone, unable to escape the painful memories of loss and bloodshed. This this tragic and tumultuous upbringing marked the beginning of James Howlett's transformation into the superhero known as Wolverine. It was the events of his early life that molded him into a complex and tormented character, shaping the foundations of his long and storied journey as one of Marvel's most beloved and enduring mutants. Ever since then, Wolverine's journey has been one of constant evolution and transformation, from a loner to a killer, from a hero to an Avenger. His path has been fraught with challenges and triumphs. This dude has even faced the depths of hell and emerged stronger than ever. Now, after the nation of Krakoa united mutant kind, Wolverine finally found himself in a unique position to experience a thread of happiness, as seen in Volume 7 of the Wolverine series. With his family by his side and safe, Wolverine finally had everything he ever desired, which also meant that he had more to lose than he did ever before. However, amidst this newfound peace, a familiar adversary resurfaced, the powerful Omega Red, who had returned to challenge Wolverine once again. In the 35th issue of the Wolverine Volume 7 comics, we find ourselves immersed in the intense events leading up to the Hellfire Gala of 2023. The Weapons of X story arc has been building up, with the final confrontation between Wolverine and Beast Prime taking center stage. The plot unfolds with Beast Prime cloning himself and taking Wolverine's friend from the CIA, Jeff Bannister, hostage. Now, Wolverine has no choice but to confront Beast Prime and attempt to rescue his captive friend. In this pivotal issue of Wolverine, the narrative reaches a climactic point with the exchange of Jeff and the infiltration mission carried out by X-Force. Now, on the other hand, Wolverine and Maverick are also holding two prisoners which are the Wolverine clones that Beast Prime desperately wants back. So, the Beast proposes a parlay, offering to exchange Jeff for the captives. Although hesitant and mistrustful of Beast Prime's intentions, Wolverine decides to proceed with the exchange in hopes of rescuing Jeff. Meanwhile, X-Force plans their infiltration of Beast Prime's underwater headquarters in the northern Atlantic. They carefully prepare for the ambush, knowing that the success of their mission hinges on precise execution. As the exchange takes place, Wolverine Wolverine and Maverick meet Beast Prime and his entourage. A tense conversation ensues, with Beast Prime assuring that no harm will come to any mutants as long as Wolverine and his team cease their efforts to stop him. However, Wolverine remains skeptical, suspecting that Beast might turn on them once Jeff is handed over. Amidst the exchange, chaos erupts when Wolverine unleashes the previously captive Wolverine clones. The unleashed Wolverine clones go on a rampage, attacking all the Beast clones present, resulting in a violent confrontation between the two sides. Simultaneously, X-Force begins their infiltration of Beast Prime's headquarters. They sneak inside and eliminate any Beast clones they encounter along the way. The tension rises as they approach a makeshift hatchery, where they set up explosive to destroy Beast Prime's operations and disrupt his cloning activities. However, their search for the Cerebro Sword, an essential objective of the mission, proves to be more challenging. They soon discover that Beast Prime possesses the Cerebro Sword, further complicating their task and raising the stakes of the mission. As the battle intensifies, Beast Prime launches a surprise attack on the X-Force crew. He emerges from hiding, catching the team off guard. In a swift and brutal assault, 
Beast Prime uses the Cerebro Sword to cut Deadpool in half, leaving the mercenary in a rather precarious position. The situation becomes dire as the headquarters walls close in, leaving only one way out for Beast Prime's escape. X-Force, now faced with an impending detonation of the headquarters, urgently fights to accomplish their mission. They engage in a fierce battle with Beast Prime, but time is running out. The stakes are higher than ever as they race against the clock to complete their objectives and escape the imminent explosion. The exchange of Jeff and the infiltration mission conducted by X-Force culminate in an explosive and action-packed sequence. The tension sets the stage for the thrilling conclusion of the Weapons of X storyline, showcasing the determination and courage of Wolverine and his allies as they navigate a treacherous and deadly mission to confront the dangerous and unpredictable Beast Prime. After the confrontation, Wolverine and Sage have a discussion, where Wolverine acknowledges Sage's capabilities as the leader of X-Force and offers his support whenever needed. However, he declares his disconnection from the island of Krakoa, the Dream, and the Quiet Council, signifying his departure from their affairs. As the issue concludes, the story teases future developments with Beast Prime still at large. Wolverine's journey is far from over, as he grapples with his role in mutant kind survival amidst the ever-present threats to Krakoa and its inhabitants. Throughout the issue, Wolverine's character shines, showcasing his determination, resilience, and willingness to put his life on the line for the ones he cares about. The narrative also delves into the moral complexities of Beast Prime's actions, raising questions about the necessity of his ruthless tactics in the face of dire circumstances for mutant kind. Overall, this issue of Wolverine captures the essence of the character's legacy, blending action-packed sequences with deeper themes of loyalty, sacrifice, and the responsibility that comes with being a hero in the ever-changing landscape of the X-Men universe. The Claws of Evolution the animated journey of Wolverine. Naturally, Wolverine's journey didn't end in the Marvel comics. He also made some really pivotal appearances in many acclaimed animated television series. As an iconic Marvel superhero, this guy has left his imposing mark on various animated shows, becoming the most famous X-Man around the world. These action-packed episodes where the Wolverine clashes with the most lethal adversaries and unleashes chaos with his adamantium claws are a true sight to behold. From one show to another, his thirst for killing while testing the metal of everyone around is really what makes him one of our favorite mutants. So, with that being said, let's begin rounding up his powerful arcs in each of these animated series with... Now it's my turn! Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends In this animated TV show, Wolverine first appears in the third episode of Season 2. A Firestar is born, where he was voiced by Neil Ross in a weird Australian accent. Here, Wolverine joins forces with Angel, Professor X, and the other X-Men as they delve into the fascinating history of Firestar in an X-Men reunion meeting. Together, they embark on an adventure that sheds light on Firestar's past and her journey to becoming the powerful mutant she is today. We first see him spring out his claws to stack fruits. When Cyclops introduces Wolverine as the newest addition of the X-Men crew. As this episode progresses, the crew faces the unstoppable Juggernaut alongside Spider-Man, where Wolverine, ever the fierce fighter, takes the Juggernaut head-on, but even his diamond-hard claws prove to be futile as his tenacity is met with a powerful throw. Eventually, all the members team up and strategically take on the Juggernaut, according to the Professor's advice, rendering the mighty behemoth unconscious for good. Nonetheless, Wolverine's presence remains a driving force, exemplifying his fierce loyalty and unwavering dedication to the mutant cause. Green with razor-like adamantium claws. They're sharp enough. Pride of the X-Men In the TV pilot, Pride of the X-Men, Wolverine plays a crucial role as a member of the X-Men crew. The team's mission is to stop the evil Magneto and his brotherhood of mutant terrorists from enacting their plan to take over the world. During the same time, a young and frightened mutant named Kitty Pride arrives at the Xavier Mansion, seeking to join the X-Men. Anyways, Wolverine is introduced as a fierce member of the team, showcasing his abilities as a skilled fighter and leader. When the convoy transporting Magneto is attacked by the White Queen, Wolverine is quick to respond, showing his combat prowess and determination to stop the Brotherhood. As the team deals with various threats, Kitty Pride's presence becomes a point of contention. Wolverine, being cautious and protective, initially questions whether a young kid like her is ready to join the X-Men. However, Kitty's determination and desire to help lead her to follow the team to confront the evil mutants. Throughout the pilot, Wolverine's loyalty to Professor Xavier and the X-Men is vehemently evident. He works alongside his teammates 
teammates to thwart Magneto's dangerous plans and defend humanity from the impending comet attack. Wolverine's bravery and dedication to the mutant cause are showcased as he faces off against the entire Brotherhood. During the final confrontation on Asteroid M, Wolverine's fighting skills prove extremely crucial as he actively contributes to the team's efforts to stop Magneto's deadly scheme to eradicate humanity once and for all. Even though he remains cautious about Kitty's involvement, Wolverine acknowledges her heroism after she assists in saving the day. Overall, Wolverine's presence in Pride of the X-Men highlights his vital role as a member of the X-Men and his unwavering commitment to protecting both mutant kind and the world from dangerous threats. X-Men The Animated Series Here, in this series, Wolverine, also known as Logan, is introduced as a mysterious and powerful mutant who is a key member of the X-Men crew. In this origin story, Logan's past is shrouded in confusion due to his memories being wiped by an unknown agency, leaving him with no recollection of his true identity. The agency also subjects him to a brutal experiment, bonding his bones with adamantium, turning him into the ultimate killing machine known as Weapon X. After escaping the facility, Wolverine is taken in by Heather Hudson and her husband, James, members of Alpha Flight, a Canadian government-sanctioned group similar to the Avengers. They help him cope with his lost past, and he eventually joins Alpha Flight. However, Wolverine starts to feel like he's being used as a weapon, and when Professor Charles Xavier offers him a chance to join the X-Men, he accepts without a second thought. As part of the X-Men, Wolverine faces various challenges and foes, alongside harboring strong feelings for his teammate Jean Grey, leading to a rivalry with her boyfriend Cyclops, who is also the team's leader. During their mission to stop the mutant control agency from duping mutants into revealing their identities, Wolverine showcases his impressive combat skills and fearlessness. He further plays a vital role in the team's efforts to infiltrate the agency's headquarters and successfully completes their mission. In addition to this, Wolverine also has personal battles to face, including his past coming back to haunt him. He encounters Lady Deathstrike, who seeks revenge for his actions years ago, which involved leaving her behind after murdering her father, who was one of the main scientists leading the Weapon X program. Additionally, he receives a mysterious envelope with pictures from his forgotten past, leading him to seek answers about his true origins and the Weapon X project. As a mutant, Wolverine possesses powerful abilities, such as accelerated healing and heightened senses. He can regenerate rapidly, making him almost immortal and immune to diseases, drugs, and toxins. His senses rival those of wild animals, making him an exceptional hunter. Throughout his adventures with the X-Men crew in the X-Men animated series, Wolverine remains a strong and dedicated member of the team, fighting for mutant rights and striving to protect both humans and mutants alike. Lastly, in all of his appearances of the show, Wolverine was voiced by Cathal J. Dard, who brought depth and emotion to the character's portrayal, apart from giving him a real Canadian voice which was robbed from the character in the previous shows. Looks like your memory needs a little help. Spider-Man The Animated Series Here, Wolverine plays a crucial role when Spider-Man seeks help from the X-Men about his growing mutation. Concerned that his mutation is worsening, Spider-Man turns to Professor Charles Xavier and his team of mutants for assistance. So, when Spider-Man arrives at Xavier's mansion seeking advice, the mansion's defense systems attack him, mistaking him as a threat. He's then confronted by the X-Men, who question his presence. A confused Spider-Man doesn't provide a clear answer, leading Wolverine to suggest investigating further. However, Spider-Man manages to break free from the metal straitjacket restraining him, temporarily incapacitates the X-Men with his webbing, and escapes the chamber. While trying to find a way out of the mansion, Spider-Man unknowingly enters the Danger Room, where he fights against Sentinels until Jean Grey intervenes and deactivates the training session. Professor Xavier eventually arrives to stop the conflict and gives Spider-Man the opportunity to explain the reason behind his presence. Meanwhile, Herbert Landon, the founder of the Brand Corporation, is working on a supposed cure for mutation, which is actually designed to kill mutants. After Spider-Man confides in Professor Xavier and the X-Men about his mutation concerns, he learns that Xavier mainly deals with natural mutations and helps mutants accept their unique nature. Beast, one of the X-Men, informs Spider-Man about Landon's cure, and the web Slinger decides to attend Landon's presentation. When Beast is later ambushed and captured by a team looking to capture a mutant, Wolverine notices his absence and starts tracking him down. He follows Beast's scent and stumbles upon Spider-Man's and Beast's captors, leading him to suspect that Spider-Man may have unwittingly lured Beast into a trap. The situation escalates as Spider-Man encounters Hobgoblin, leading to a confrontation with Wolverine. However, they realize that Hobgoblin's claims about Landon's sinister intentions may hold some truth. To uncover the truth, Spider-Man 
and Wolverine joined forces to investigate further. In the final showdown, London's true motives are revealed when he mutates into a lizard-like creature, leading the X-Men and Spider-Man to work together to thwart his dangerous plans, and Wolverine almost falls victim to London's serum. The situation intensifies when Hobgoblin hacks into London's computer, obtaining all his research. In the end, Spider-Man, Wolverine and the X-Men successfully save Beast and stop London's destructive plans. Throughout the ordeal, Wolverine and Spider-Man build a strong alliance and become great friends. X-Men Evolution In the X-Men Evolution, Logan is depicted as a remarkably headstrong and determined individual. Despite his occasional insensitivity, he possesses a caring and loyal nature, always willing to defend and protect those in need, whether it's X-23, Charles, Spike, or anyone else. Beneath his tough exterior, he demonstrates a self-sacrificing spirit, always putting others before himself. While he can be temperamental and prone to violence, Logan strives to control these aspects of his personality. In Xavier's school for the young and gifted, he takes on the role of a mentor teaching younger mutants that violence should not be their first resort, but there are situations when it becomes necessary and unavoidable. In his own way, Logan sees the X-Men as his true family, particularly regarding Kitty and X-23, whom he treats like his own daughters. In this series, despite his preference for solitude, Wolverine values the companionship of those he cares about, though he may feel uneasy when assigned tasks he's uncertain about excelling in. Here, one of his most treasured possessions is his motorcycle, and he becomes easily provoked when its safety is threatened, often due to to the mischievous actions of young mutants. Overall, Logan remains quite true to his comic book persona, exhibiting his trademark sarcasm, bluntness, and a penchant for stating the obvious. Despite his gruff exterior, his actions reveal a deeply caring and protective individual who stands ready to defend those he considers family in the animated series. Wolverine and the X-Men Here, Wolverine is introduced as James Logan Howlett, who was once Weapon X, and stands as one of the oldest known mutants alive currently leading the X-Men. Haunted by a stolen past, Logan is a rebellious loner reluctantly thrust into a leadership role among the X-Men. Equipped with rapid healing abilities and indestructible adamantium claws, he becomes an invulnerable combatant. Only with the united strength of his team can Wolverine hope to safeguard the world and carry on Professor Xavier's mission of peace between the mutant kind and humanity. Here too, Logan's demeanor is marked by aggression and decisiveness, always driven by the pursuit of good. Rarely seen smiling, he bears the weight of his troubled history. While initially hard to gain trust, Logan forges a friendship with Hank McCoy and also builds a rapport with Emma Frost after witnessing her save Africa from the menacing Shadow King. Unafraid to be blunt and mean when necessary, Logan presents a strong, muscular, and masculine appearance with black hair, blue eyes, and Caucasian skin. His typical attire includes a grey t-shirt, dog tag necklace, jeans, and a belt, sometimes paired with a brown jacket. On his missions, Wolverine dons a gold and blue sleeveless uniform, along with a mask covering a significant portion of his face completing the outfit with blue gloves and boots. Despite his age, Logan's early life remains shrouded in mystery, although it is known that he fought in World War II alongside Captain America, Bucky, and the Howling Commandos. A crucial figure from his past is Mystique, whom he loved and sacrificed himself for during his time with Weapon X. In the program, his bones were infused with adamantium, granting him his iconic claws. However, his memory was erased, leaving his early life a blank canvas. Joining the X-Men at the Xavier Mansion, Wolverine forms a close bond with Rogue, who sees him as a father figure. His arrival creates tension with Cyclops, as both develop a rivalry for Jean Grey's affections. Additionally, Wolverine's presence in the Danger Room becomes known for raising the threat level beyond usual, posing challenges for the students. He even finds out about Emma Frost and her Massachusetts Academy, a rival institution promoting bullying, which only a few X-Men are privy to. In an attempt to improve the team's image, Wolverine and Cyclops participate in advertising the X-Men, attracting the attention of S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Maria Hill. Throughout it all, Logan carries the burden of his past and strives to be the fierce protector the X-Men need, embracing his role as their leader while navigating the complexities of his own emotional journey. Hey. <clears throat> She's not here. That is why you came in here, right? Who? Black Widow? No! The Superhero Squad Show In this series, Wolverine plays a prominent role as the second-in-command, standing beside Iron Man. His iconic portrayal is brought to life by the voice of the talented Stephen Bloom. Interestingly, the show humorously spoofs Wolverine's Australian accent in the second season episode titled Too Many Wolverines. This episode also pokes fun at how Wolverine is often depicted as one of the busiest characters in the Marvel Universe, with a mention of him teaming up with various characters, including the Easter Bunny. Throughout the series, Wolverine's character shines, showcasing 
his leadership skills and fierce determination as he stands tall as a vital member of the team alongside Iron Man. Hulk vs Wolverine In this gripping tale, Wolverine embarks on a relentless pursuit of the Hulk, who is suspected of causing destruction in a town. Their encounter ignites a brutal and intense brawl between these two invulnerable foes. However, their battle catches the attention of old enemies, who have their own nefarious plans for the Hulk. In the midst of the chaos, Wolverine must confront his past and face the Hulk head-on, while trying to prevent him from becoming a living weapon. The story begins with Wolverine lying on the ground, wounded and bleeding, but he quickly gets back on his feet, determined to continue the fight. Meanwhile, the Hulk makes a dramatic entrance, roaring and ready to attack. The narrative then takes us back four hours, where we see that Logan is tasked with stopping the Hulk after the town of Elkford has been left in ruins. Naturally, Logan sets out on his mission, following the scent of the Hulk through the Canadian Rockies. As he tracks the Hulk, Wolverine encounters various challenges, including a dangerous encounter with a transformed man who smells like the creature he seeks. After a fierce battle, the man turns into the Hulk, and their epic clash begins. The story further alternates between their current battle and flashbacks that reveal Wolverine's troubled past, including his involvement with the sinister Weapon X program and his struggles with memory erasure and manipulation. As the plot progresses, Wolverine and the Hulk engage in a series of intense fights, showcasing their incredible abilities and tenacity. However, their battle is interrupted when they're captured by old enemies, including Deadpool, Omega Red, Sabretooth, and Lady Deathstrike, who want to use Wolverine and the Hulk as weapons. As the conflict escalates, Wolverine is forced to fight for his life, facing not only the Hulk, but also his ruthless adversaries. In the end, he discovers the truth behind the Hulk's actions and seeks to protect him from becoming a pawn in their enemy's sinister plans. Amidst the chaos and destruction, Wolverine's resilience and determination shine through as he fights for what is right. The story culminates in a final showdown between Wolverine and the Hulk as the two formidable forces clash one last time. Despite facing overwhelming odds, Wolverine remains steadfast, refusing to back down from the fight. As the story unfolds, Wolverine's character is explored, delving into his past traumas and struggles. Throughout the story, Wolverine's strength, resilience, and unwavering sense of justice solidify his place as one of the most iconic and beloved characters in the Marvel Universe. Back off, fat boy. You think you can stop me, little... Black Panther Motion Comic In a guest appearance in the second episode of Black Panther, Wolverine is voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson. Alongside Cyclops and Nightcrawler, he joins Storm as she uses Cerebro to investigate the ongoing attack on Wakanda. They discover that the unstoppable Juggernaut is involved in the assault, and together with the X-Men, they must face this powerful adversary and help to defend Wakanda from the impending threat. The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes In this coveted animated series set during World War II, James Howlett, aka Wolverine, joins the war as an ally and becomes part of the Howling Commandos alongside Captain America and Bucky. Together, they infiltrate Red Skull's castle, executing a stealthy attack on Hydra troops. Later, before joining the X-Men, Wolverine is called by Department H to investigate mysterious damage and murders near the Canadian border, believed to be caused by a creature from America. Following the creature's scent, he encounters a man named Bruce. Banner, who turns out to be the Hulk. Engaging in a brutal battle, Wolverine and Hulk clash fiercely, with Wolverine using his agility and claws to wound the Hulk, but eventually getting overpowered. However, after a tranquilizer attack by former Weapon X companions, Wolverine finds himself captured and probed in a facility run by them and the Professor. His former teammates express their desire to kill him, and he faces various challenges, including surviving tranquilizer shots alongside his confrontation with Lady Deathstrike. However, eventually Wolverine manages to break free escape with Bruce Banner and join the X-Men. Wolverine later participates in various missions in the Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, alongside helping the Avengers battle Galactus and dealing with the Hulk during a rampage in the Canadian wilderness. Despite his gruff and berserker-like demeanor, Wolverine is a skilled fighter and has a strong sense of loyalty to his team, the X-Men. Marvel Anime Wolverine In this Marvel anime set in the Madhouse universe, Wolverine's story centers on his time in Japan, particularly fixating with his connection with the Yoshida family. Voiced by Milo Ventimiglia, Wolverine makes a startling discovery that his girlfriend Mariko Yoshida, who has been missing for a year, is still alive, but being forced into marriage with the sinister crime lord Kurohagi Hideki. Determined to save her, Wolverine embarks on a mission to rescue Mariko. During his quest, he faces various challenges, including a confrontation with his old enemy, Omega Red, who seeks revenge against 
against Wolverine. Despite the odds stacked against him, Wolverine fights his way through obstacles to reach Mariko and confront Kurahagi Hideki. Not only does Wolverine save Mariko, but he also intervenes to rescue Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, from an attempted assassination by a race car driver. Throughout the anime, Wolverine showcases his fierce combat skills, unwavering determination, and a sense of justice as he navigates the dangerous world of crime and corruption to protect those he cares about. Ultimate Spider-Man In the Madhouse universe, Wolverine, known by his real name James Howlett, takes center stage in this anime as a mutant superhero and a prominent member of the X-Men. Despite being a part of the same universe, his appearance in this anime sports a more classic look, distinguishing it from his Earth-616 counterpart. Wolverine's portrayal in this animated series reflects his wild and fierce side, often seen growling and demonstrating his intense nature. However, there's another side of him that emerges as well, which is his attraction to redheads. This becomes evident when he spots Mary Jane and attempts to flirt with her while inhabiting Parker's body. Despite the interesting encounter, his flirtatious advances obviously did not succeed. So, getting into the narrative, in one of his missions, Wolverine arrives in New York City to confront civilians who are mysteriously behaving under the control of Mesmero. Initially, he believes Spider-Man to be behind this bizarre behavior. However, a twist of fate occurs and Wolverine inadvertently cures the affected civilians, leading him to discover that Mesmero is the true cause of their strange actions. Determined to put an end to Mesmero, control, Wolverine confronts the villain, forcing him to release the civilians from his manipulative grip. In the midst of the chaos, Wolverine's mind is swapped with Peter Parker's. With their minds switched, Wolverine finds himself in Spider-Man's body, facing a whole new set of challenges. Here, Wolverine's interaction with Spider-Man's world brings humorous moments as he tries to adapt to the wall crawler's abilities. Guided by Peter, he learns to use Spider-Sense to his advantage, but the situation takes a serious turn when Sabretooth barges into Wolverine's apartment, leading to an intense confrontation. Eventually, Wolverine teams up with Spider-Man, and the two heroes face Sabretooth together. In a climactic showdown aboard the helicarrier, Wolverine, still in Peter's body, offers support to Peter in controlling his powers. As they confront Mesmero, they manage to reverse the mind swap, returning Wolverine to his own body. Grateful for the experience and newfound camaraderie, Wolverine bids farewell to Spider-Man, departs on a stolen jet from S.H.I.E.L.D. As he flies away, he reflects on the unique adventure he had, cherishing the bonds formed during his time in Spider-Man's world. Marvel Disc Wars – The Avengers In this animated series, James Howlett is introduced by the codename Wolverine, renowned for his exceptional strength and combat skills alongside being a vital member of the X-Men crew. When Tony Stark invites Cyclops and Beast from the X-Men to attend the presentation of the discs, Wolverine expresses concern about the potential misuse of these devices, fearing they may be employed to detain mutants much like the Sentinels have done in the past. Unfortunately, his apprehensions are confirmed when Loki interrupts the event and uses the discs to imprison numerous heroes, including Cyclops and Beast. In the aftermath, the discs are scattered across the world due to a dimensional oscillation caused by Loki and Akira. In the aftermath of these events, Wolverine takes it upon himself to track down the discs, determined to keep them away from Loki's clutches. When Professor X detects a new mutant, Noriko Ashida, on Techno Isle, he tasks Wolverine with bringing her to Xavier's Institute. The hope is that her ability to generate bioelectrical currents could potentially release the X-Men from their discs. While on Techno Isle, Wolverine finds himself entangled in a battle involving his old foe, Sabretooth, and the Avengers. As they fight off the threat, three destroyers emerge, but Wolverine and the Avengers manage to overcome two of them. Despite Tony Stark's offer to join forces, Wolverine declines, instead sharing the history of the Sentinels with their new partners. Now, when Noriko's mutant powers surface during a date with Hikaru, Wolverine, accompanied by Professor X, approaches her to offer a safe haven at the Xavier Institute. However, Noriko, troubled by her newfound abilities, wants nothing to do with Wolverine. Respectful of her wishes, Wolverine allows her time to come to terms with her powers, even intervening when the Avengers seek her assistance. Yet, Noriko is deceived by Okuma Jubei into stealing all the discs, including those of the Avengers. Wolverine provides Cyclops' disc to Hikaru, enabling them to team up to rescue Noriko. During their mission, Wolverine engages in a fierce battle with Predator X and falls victim to the villain's poison. Thankfully, Captain America, whose disc hasn't been stolen, comes to Wolverine's aid and keeps the villains occupied, allowing him to recover. Subsequently, Wolverine joins the X-Men and the Young Mutants in an assault on Loki's palace to retrieve the discs. He plays a crucial role in neutralizing the guards, the destroyers, and clashes once more with Sabretooth within the palace walls. Although the final outcome of their confrontation isn't shown, Wolverine re-emerges after the events, indicating a positive result. After Loki's defeat, Wolverine and the other X-Men return to America, continuing their battle against threats that looms on the horizon.
the evolution of Wolverine in live-action movies. This unstoppable killing machine also has made his way to the big screen, making adrenaline-rushing appearances in many iconic films, mostly starring the super-charming Hugh Jackman. Even today, fans are at a loss after his departure from the X-Men franchise. But the news of his return in the latest Deadpool movie is definitely something we're all looking forward to. Anyways, let's find out his significance in the ones he has featured in, starting with... X-Men Origins Wolverine This live-action movie is set in the year 1845, where a young boy named James Howlett witnesses the tragic death of his father at the hands of the groundskeeper Thomas Logan. This traumatic event triggers James's mutant powers, causing bone claws to protrude from his hands. In retaliation, he inadvertently kills Thomas, who reveals himself to be James's true father. Playing alongside Thomas's son, Victor Creed, James discovers that they're actually half-brothers. Over the next century, they become soldiers, fighting in various wars, including the American Civil War, both World Wars, and the Vietnam War. In 1975, during the Vietnam War, Victor kills a senior officer, while James defends him, and when they're caught, both are sentenced to execution by firing squad. However, they miraculously survive. Soon after, Major William Stryker approaches them and offers membership in Team X, a group of mutants that includes Agent Zero, Wade Wilson, John Wraith, Fred Dukes, and Chris Bradley. Even though they serve on the team for a few years, their disregard for human life leads James to leave eventually. Years later, when James, now going by the alias Logan, is living as a lumberjack in Canada with his girlfriend Kayla Silverfox, Stryker and Agent Zero approach Logan, informing him that members of Team X are being targeted and killed. Logan refuses to rejoin them until he finds Kayla's lifeless body in the forest. Distraught, Logan confronts Victor in a fight and is defeated. Stryker offers Logan a way to become strong enough to seek revenge on Victor, an operation that reinforces his skeleton with adamantium, an indestructible metal. Naturally, Logan undergoes the procedure, but manages to escape before his memory can be erased. While searching for answers, Logan encounters John and Fred, who tell him that Victor is still working for Stryker, hunting down mutants for experimentation on the island, Stryker's new laboratory. They mention a certain Remy Gambit LeBeau, who knows the location of the island. Logan and John find Gambit and together face Victor, resulting in John's death and Victor extracting his DNA. Later, they join forces to free mutants captured by Stryker, including Emma, Kayla's sister. During the rescue mission, they're attacked, but Logan is aided by Scott Summers, aka Cyclops, who uses his optic red beams to fend off their assailants. Now, Stryker activates Wade Wilson, also known as Weapon XI, a mutant killer with multiple powers derived from other mutants, including Logan's healing ability. In the final showdown, Logan and Victor battle Deadpool. While Logan fights to save the captured mutants, Kayla, who's still alive but wounded, successfully leads them to safety with the help of Professor Charles Xavier. In the climactic battle, Logan decapitates Deadpool and destroys a cooling tower, but Stryker shoots Logan in the head with adamantium bullets, leaving him unconscious and with amnesia. When Logan regains consciousness, he's lost his memory and doesn't recognize Kayla, who's tragically sacrificed herself to save him from Stryker's clutches. X-Men First Class In the X-Men First Class movie, there's a fleeting glimpse of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in a dimly lit bar, casually smoking a cigarette. This scene occurs while Charles Xavier and Eric Lensher, aka Magneto, are on their mission to recruit mutants from various locations worldwide. X-Men 2000 Here, in X-Men, we see that in the town of Lachlan City, Canada, Logan leads a humble life as a cage fighter. After a fight, he encounters a mysterious woman named Marie, also known as Rogue, who warns him about a dangerous individual seeking to harm him. Curious yet cautious, Logan embarks on a journey and comes across Rogue again, finding her hiding in the back of his truck. Initially hesitant, he eventually decides to help her. During their conversation, they're ambushed by the menacing Sabretooth, and just when things seem dire, they're rescued by Storm and Cyclops, who bring them to a safe haven. Upon awakening in the med lab, Logan reacts instinctively, momentarily losing control until he learns learns about the school and the man behind it, Professor Charles Xavier. Intrigued and in need of answers about his past and the Brotherhood's interest in him, Logan seeks help from Professor Xavier. As he familiarizes himself with the school and its mission, he forms a bond with Rogue. However, a concerning incident involving Rogue forces him to act swiftly, and he rushes to the train station, where she's disappeared. In the midst of their journey, Logan and Rogue face an unexpected confrontation with the powerful Magneto, testing their resolve and the strength of their newfound alliance till the very end. X-Men 
X2 X-Men United. In this movie, after an unfruitful search at Alkali Lake, Wolverine becomes determined to uncover the secrets of his past. His attention turns to William Stryker, whom he believes holds crucial information. During a military attack on the X-Mansion, Wolverine confronts Stryker, but the man remains tight-lipped about his history. So, Wolverine, along with Rogue, Bobby, and Pyro, manages to escape the mansion and seeks refuge at Bobby's home in Boston. However, their brief moment of peace is interrupted when the police arrive to arrest them. In the nick of time, the X-Jet swoops in to pick them up, but their getaway is met with a massive Air Force attack. The team, including Magneto and Mystique, joins forces to fend off the attackers and unite against a common enemy, Stryker. Learning of Stryker's sinister plans and the Professor's captivity at Alkali Lake within a dam, Wolverine and the team devise a plan to infiltrate the base. Fortunately, they succeed in rescuing the Professor, but Stryker confronts Wolverine, attempting to strike a deal by revealing snippets of his past. Determined to seek the truth, Wolverine resists Stryker's manipulation and ultimately defeats him, putting an end to his malevolent plans. X-Men The Last Stand In X-Men The Last Stand, Wolverine confronts his ultimate adversary, Magneto. During the course of events, Magneto is injected with the cure, rendering him powerless like a normal human. Meanwhile, Jean Grey, struggling, struggling to control her overwhelming powers as the Phoenix, becomes a dangerous threat that could destroy everything in her path. In a heart-wrenching decision, Wolverine is forced to kill Jean in order to prevent the catastrophic consequences of her uncontrolled abilities. The Wolverine The Wolverine movie starts in the year 1945, where Logan finds himself imprisoned in a Japanese POW camp near Nagasaki. During the devastating atomic bombing of Nagasaki, Logan saves the life of an officer named Yashida, shielding him from the blast and creating a life debt between them. In the present day, Logan lives as a reclusive hermit in Yukon, haunted by hallucinations of Jean Grey, whom he was forced to kill in a previous battle. There, he's sought out by Yukio, a mutant with precognitive abilities on behalf of Yoshida, who's now the CEO of a technology corporation. Yoshida, facing a terminal illness, wants to repay his life debt to Logan by offering to transfer his healing abilities into his own body, thus freeing Logan from his immortality, which he perceives as a curse. Logan declines the offer, but agrees to travel to Japan with Yukio. In Tokyo, he meets Yoshida. Yashida's son, Shingen, and granddaughter, Mariko. However, Yashida dies unexpectedly, and Logan becomes entangled in a dangerous web of Yakuza and conspiracies involving Mariko. Faced with perilous situations and a mysterious robotic parasite suppressing his healing factor, Logan and Mariko grow close while trying to survive. As they seek refuge and unravel the truth behind the plots, Logan's battles lead him to confront the Silver Samurai, who turns out to be Yashida himself, having faked his death. Mariko emerges as a courageous ally, and together they defeat Yoshida and his sinister plans. In the aftermath, Mariko takes over her grandfather's company while Logan prepares to leave Japan. Yukio, having developed a bond with Logan, decides to accompany him as his loyal bodyguard. The movie ends with a hint of a new threat to mutants, as Magneto and Professor X approach Logan, foretelling the events of X-Men Days of Future Past. X-Men Days A Future Past In a grim and desolate 2023, the world is ravaged by robotic sentinels hunting down mutants and humans with mutant offspring. The X-Men have suffered heavy losses, but a resilient group, including Wolverine, Professor Xavier, Magneto, Storm, and Kitty Pride, continue to fight for survival. Determined to end the war, Wolverine, Xavier, and Magneto devise a plan to prevent Mystique from assassinating Bolivar Trask, the creator of the deadly Sentinels. This leads Pride to use her unique ability to send Wolverine's consciousness back in time to 1973. In the past, Wolverine seeks out the younger Xavier and Beast at the closed X Mansion. A disillusioned Xavier has been suppressing his powers with a serum, but Wolverine convinces him to join the mission and rescue the imprisoned Magneto. Together with Quicksilver's help, the team successfully breaks Magneto out of his Pentagon cell. In Washington, D.C., Trask faces opposition as he attempts to gain support for his Sentinel program. Meanwhile, Mystique prevents mutant GIs from falling into Trask's hands in Saigon and uncovers his sinister experiments. In Paris, the team confronts Mystique, who intends to kill Trask. Magneto tries to stop her, but she escapes. The ensuing battle spills onto the streets and becomes public, further complicating their mission. Back at the mansion, Xavier regains his mental powers after stopping his serum, but loses the ability to walk. He reconnects with his future self through Wolverine, inspiring him to pursue peace once more. Meanwhile, as Mystique heads to Washington to confront Tarask, the Sentinels are coming
commandeered by Magneto, Chaos and Shoes. In the future, the Sentinels decimate the X-Men, leaving only a few survivors. In 1973, Magneto threatens Nixon and his cabinet, but Mystique intervenes and ultimately spares Trask's life. Finally, the Sentinel program is cancelled and Trask is arrested. Wolverine awakens in the future to find many of his comrades alive. In 1973, Mystique, disguised as Striker, takes custody of Wolverine after his encounter with Magneto. The timeline has been altered, offering hope for a brighter future for mutants and humans alike. X-Men Apocalypse During a daring mission to rescue their captive companions from Colonel Stryker's stronghold, Jean Grey, Scott Summers and Nightcrawler unexpectedly cross paths with Wolverine, recently liberated from the clutches of Weapon X. Fueled by a berserker frenzy, Logan unleashes his formidable rage upon the guards, swiftly dispatching them in a flurry of violence. However, amidst the chaos, Jean's calming presence manages to soothe the ferocity within Wolverine, eventually quelling his uncontrollable aggression. With his emotions in check, Wolverine abruptly departs the scene, disappearing into the shadows and leaving the area behind. Overall, X-Men Apocalypse really comes out with shocking revelations and crazy story arcs which are bound to keep you hooked on Wolverine's aura. Logan 2017 Logan, the final installment in the Wolverine trilogy and the tenth film in the X-Men series. Set in a post-apocalyptic 2029, the story follows a worn-down Logan caring for an ailing Professor X near the Mexican border. However, their isolation is disrupted when a young mutant arrives, pursued by dangerous forces. In this dystopian future, Logan's healing abilities have deteriorated with age, leaving him vulnerable. He spends his days as a chauffeur and scavenging for prescription drugs. At a funeral, Logan is a approached by Gabriella, a nurse for Transigen, who asks for his help to escort a young mutant named Laura to a safe haven called Eden. After reluctantly agreeing, Logan finds Gabriella murdered and sets off with Xavier and Laura. Evading danger, they learn of Transigen's sinister experiments, discovering that Laura is actually Logan's own daughter. Their journey further takes them to Oklahoma City, where Logan's skepticism about Eden is compounded by a comic book Laura carries that references the location. Pursued by the Reavers, Xavier's seizures trigger a tragic event. As they escape, the trio finds refuge with a family, but this respite is shattered by X-24's attack, resulting in Xavier's death while Logan and Laura barely manage to escape. Arriving at Eden, a sanctuary led by Richter and other transigent subjects, Logan learns the children's plan to reach Canada. The Reavers close in, prompting Logan to use a mutant serum to rejuvenate himself. He then battles the Reavers and confronts Xander Rice, the mastermind behind Transigen's experiments, ultimately defeating him. However, Logan is mortally wounded in a final showdown with X-24. In his final moments, Logan succumbs to his injuries, leaving Laura and the children to bury him and continue their journey. Laura honors Logan's legacy by crafting an X-shaped grave marker, symbolizing his status as the last of the X-Men. Deadpool 3 Apart from fans going gaga over Ryan Reynolds donning the red suits and throwing swords at the silver screen once again, we're also excited to see Hugh Jackman make an enthralling comeback as Wolverine in the upcoming Deadpool 3. This unexpected return assures fans that it will not tamper with the poignant conclusion of Logan, where the character met his demise. A recent sneak peek shared on Jackman and co-star Ryan Reynolds' Instagram accounts reveal Wolverine donning his classic yellow and blue comic book costume. Interestingly, this iteration of Wolverine differs from Jackman's previous betrayal, as he's never sported this iconic costume on the big screen before. However, it is evident that the film delves into the multiverse as Deadpool enters the Marvel Cinematic Universe for the first time. The movie features a blend of returning and new cast members, including Marina Baccarin, Brianna Hildebrand, Emma Corrin, and Matthew McFadden. Additionally, Jennifer Garner is set to reprise her role as Elektra after nearly two decades. While details about the film's plot remain scarce, the tantalizing return of Wolverine, portrayed by Hugh Jackman, steals the spotlight. Jackman's collaboration with Ryan Reynolds promises an entertaining and unexpected twist, teasing fans with the reappearance of this beloved character. As the MCU continues to explore the multiverse, the inclusion of Wolverine adds an exciting layer of intrigue to the highly anticipated Deadpool 3, which is set to hit theaters on May 3rd, 2024 different versions of Wolverine. Till date, with his short stature and shorter temper, Wolverine has had decades worth of runtime in many different story arcs, with different versions, and we also know how notoriously wide Marvel's alternate universes go. This dude has more than 70 appearances, and if we start covering that by each appearance, we're pretty sure you guys will run the other way. So let's talk about a few versions of Wolverine in Marvel's alternate universes, which really put his character up to a pedestal and sealed his position as the most iconic X-Man ever. 
Wolverine as Captain Logan. In the alternate universe of Marvel Noir, Logan took on the role of a rugged detective with a shadowy past. His partner in crime solving was his half brother, the enigmatic dog Logan. However, this version of Wolverine didn't possess his iconic adamantium claws. Instead, he relied on improvised knife claws that he'd crafted himself. These unique weapons came into play during a memorable showdown with Cyclops, resulting in the loss of one of Cyclops' eyes. Marvel Noir introduced a gritty and somber reinterpretation of familiar characters, setting against the backdrop of a Prohibition-era America filled with darkness and moral ambiguity. Depending on the specific storyline, Wolverine Noir appears as either Jim Logan, a seasoned bootlegger and frequent consumer of alcohol, or as James Howlett, a skilled private investigator and martial artist working alongside his brother, Dog Logan. This distinctive take on Wolverine, while not as physically powerful as his mainstream counterpart, offers a compelling exploration of the character within the confines of the Marvel Noir universe. Wolverine in Marvel's Mangaverse As some of you are aware, the Marvel Mangaverse aimed to reimagine the Marvel Universe through a manga-inspired lens, resulting in a unique and short-lived creative venture. Within this manga adaptation, Wolverine retained many of his familiar traits from the mainstream Marvel Universe, Earth-616. Notably, his adamantium bone claws were transformed into razor-sharp energy knives, adding a distinct visual and combat element to his character. Another intriguing twist presented in this version was the loss of his right forearm, replaced by a mechanical counterpart, hinting at a previous conflict with Scott Summers, aka Cyclops, that cost him both his arm and an eye. Interestingly, this manga Wolverine was depicted as lacking the trademark killer instinct that defines the traditional Logan, a departure that set him apart from his other iterations. In this alternate reality, Wolverine took on the role of leading the X-Men, forming the team during a period when Charles Xavier was associated with the Hellfire Club. Additionally, an intricate sibling dynamic was introduced, making Wolverine and Cyclops brothers, who seemed intertwined in each other's injuries. Additionally, Manga Wolverine's unique mechanical right arm, equipped with three energy claws, further showcased his adaptability and prowess in battle. This version of Cyclops also experienced a significant change, having lost an eye in the same context. The Marvel Mangaverse even expanded its storytelling into a sequel series titled New Mangaverse Rings of Fate, where Wolverine continued his heroic journey by collaborating with the Avengers. Overall, the depiction of Wolverine through the manga-inspired Marvel Mangaverse provided an innovative reimagining of the character blending traditional attributes with creative twists and a fresh artistic style. Wolverine in Marvel Universe vs. Wolverine While Wolverine often embodies the archetype of a solitary anti-hero, his character definitely thrives within a team dynamic, whether it's the X-Men or the Avengers. However, a unique scenario unfolds when Wolverine becomes the sole remaining hero. This is the premise of Marvel Universe vs. Wolverine, a compelling narrative that unveils a world plagued by a gruesome contagion, driving individuals to become absolutely cannibalistic. In this desolate setting, Wolverine finds himself surrounded by former allies turned into predators, engaged in horrifying acts of violence and consumption. Despite enduring the loss of an arm in a battle against the Hulk, Wolverine's resolve remains unyielding, as he becomes the last bastion of hope in this grim reality. His tenacious efforts to salvage what remains of the world unfold amidst a backdrop of chaos and despair. Nevertheless, his physical handicap becomes a significant challenge, placing him at a distinct disadvantage compared to his alternate versions. Yet, this adversity doesn't deter Wolverine from striving to combat the cataclysmic threat that has befallen the world, showcasing his indomitable spirit and determination. Wolverine as Mr. Murderhands In the alternate universe of Spider-Gwen, an intriguing incarnation of Wolverine emerges, bearing the rather unconventional moniker of Mr. Murderhands. Despite the somewhat whimsical name, this version of Wolverine exudes a ferocious demeanor, readily distinguishing himself with a distinct cowboy hat. While his sobriquet might evoke a hint of levity, his true essence centers around precision and lethal efficiency. Within the intricate tapestry of Spider-Gwen's reality, this iteration of Wolverine is shrouded in an air of enigmatic mystique, with a theory circulating that he was once a powerful samurai burdened by a malevolent curse, compelling him to traverse the world for every life he's ever taken. The fabric of Mr. Murderhand's past remains veiled in secrecy, leaving much to speculation. The narrative alludes to a history as a potent and revered samurai warrior, a fate that ultimately resulted in an eternity of immortality, a relentless existence driven by a vengeful curse that even the depths of hell deemed unfit to contain. As the tale unfolds, Mr. Murderhands becomes a pivotal figure within the ranks of 
shield, his memory effectively erased, and his formidable skills harnessed for their clandestine operations. This transformation is orchestrated by the enigmatic Weapon X Corporation, weaving a complex web of intrigue and manipulation around his identity and purpose. Despite his undeniable prowess, Mr. Murderhand's full potential remains tantalizingly out of reach, a narrative choice that positions him lower in the hierarchy of this multiverse's iterations of Wolverine. Nonetheless, this unique incarnation adds an intriguing layer to the diverse reinterpretations of the iconic character within the captivating realm of Spider-Gwen. Wolverine as the Hooded Man Emerging from a divergent future, the enigmatic Hooded Man emerges as a unique iteration of Wolverine. In this alternate timeline, he aligns himself with the New Defenders, a resolute collective determined to avert the grim fate that befell their world. Employing the invulnerable remains of a deceased Galactus as a conduit, they undertake a perilous journey through time, arriving in the present day with a resolute mission to safeguard their beleaguered populace. Originating from a chronicle marred by the ravages of warfare and ecological upheaval, the Hooded Man and his compatriots Patriots lay the groundwork for an audacious exodus, intent on orchestrating the migration of their people from a desolate future to the sanctuary of the past. While bearing semblances to the iconic Old Man Logan, this version of Wolverine diverges, his actions spurred by a sense of desperation instilled by the harrowing events of his timeline. Although sharing a kinship with his counterparts, the Hooded Man is marked by the weight of impending catastrophe, impelling him to pursue a path fueled by urgency rather than singular determination. This amalgamation of traits paints a distinct portrait of Wolverine one molded by the crucible of future trials and propelled by a mission to rewrite the annals of time. Wolverine in the Ultimate Wolverine In this distinct realm, the intricate tapestry of mutants unfolds through a manufactured genesis, a bid to replicate the revered super-soldier process like they did with Captain America. Wolverine, an inaugural creation of the Weapon X experiments, emerges as the pioneer mutant who is the main catalyst for the activation of the latent mutant gene. Yet, unlike his counterparts from Earth-616, his essence is imbued with a survival factor, enabling him to endure onslaughts of damage that would prove fatal to his alternate selves. Within this unique narrative, Wolverine finds allegiance within the ranks of the Brotherhood of Mutant Supremacy, serving as the premier enforcer in Magneto's employ. His mission is twofold, to infiltrate the X-Men's ranks and eliminate Charles Xavier, the heart of the opposing faction. A twist of fate, however, sees him kindling an unexpected connection with Jean Grey catalyzing his transformation from an assassin into a devoted X-Men member. Originating from Earth-1610, this variant of Wolverine seamlessly integrates into the storied Ultimate line of Marvel Comics. Notably, his characterization is marked by an unwavering resolve to surpass even the tenacity of his Earth-616 counterpart, embodying a willingness to tread the darkest of paths to achieve his objectives. Though his hands are stained with the blood of controversial decisions, such as ending the life of a mutant child with deadly emissions that claimed countless lives, this Wolverine is not immune to his own mortality. In a climactic showdown with the indomitable Magneto, he valiantly engages, delivering multiple mortal strikes before succumbing to the ferocious onslaught of the Master of Magnetism. While his deeds paint a complex portrait of a warrior committed to his cause, this Wolverine's legacy is tarnished by a lack of steadfast leadership and the shadow of his ultimate demise. An enigmatic figure embodying unrelenting conviction, his narrative remains a testament to the intricate nuances of an alternate reality. Wolverine as General James Howlett In this alternate reality, Wolverine assumed the role of the Governor General of the Dominion of Canada and held the prestigious title of Viceroy of Her Majesty's Expedition to Shangri-La. This iteration of Wolverine as James Howlett possessed a remarkable skeletal structure encased in adamantine, a resplendent golden metal gifted by none other than Hercules himself. A truly unique partnership flourished between Howlett and Hercules, propelling them to the zenith of heroism within this distinct universe. Their valor and heroics were mirrored by a clandestine romance a deep and passionate love that blossomed between them. However, the strictures of Her Majesty's rule and the whims of Zeus, who desired exclusive interactions with mortals, shrouded their relationship in secrecy. Eventually, the hidden truth emerged, casting a shadow over their lives. The revelation of their forbidden love led to a grave punishment, consignment to Tartarus, an infernal realm where they grappled ceaselessly with tormented souls for an agonizing four-year span. The narrative further unfolded as Wolverine's destiny took an ominous turn. He was ensnared by Saviour, a malevolent incarnation of Charles Xavier, and subjected to exploitation as a potent source of mutant power. Nonetheless, Salvation awaited Wolverine, rescuing him from the clutches of darkness. He found himself amidst a multifaceted ensemble known as the Multidimensional X-Men. United with the purpose of confronting the sinister iterations of Xavier that proliferated across diverse dimensions. In this capacity, Wolverine, hailing from Earth-12025, stood resolute as a stalwart defender of righteousness. This enigmatic persona predominantly graced the pages of the second volume of Extreme X-Men, where his indomitable spirit intertwined with a powerful team dedicated to thwarting the 
designs of evil Xavier's across the multiverse. Fortified by his adamantine coated bones, a divine alloy invoking the gods themselves, Wolverine wielded an innate immunity against psychic assaults, setting him apart even within this kaleidoscopic landscape of mutant prowess. Wolverine as Hydra Wolverine In an intriguing twist of fate, this version of Wolverine was entwined in a romantic liaison with none other than Sue Storm, who held the mantle of Madame Hydra within their alternate universe. As the dynamic rulers of their realm, both of their aspirations expanded to insatiable proportions, driven by a thirst for supremacy over the entire multiverse. Their insidious ambitions propelled them through multiple realities, each one succumbing to their dominion. This unchecked conquest drew the attention of Catherine Pride, an alternate iteration of Kit pride, culminating in a climactic clash that would reshape their destinies. It should be noted that despite his history with Weapon X, fate once again dealt him a cruel hand, as he fell under the insidious influence of Hydra during the harrowing narrative arc titled Enemy of the State. Hydra's sinister forces, in an alliance with the Hand and the enigmatic Dawn of the White Light, orchestrated the demise and resurrection of Wolverine, ensnaring him within their malevolent control. Transformed into a potent pawn, he became Hydra's lethal instrument, orchestrating a ruthless campaign to pilfer shields impregnable defense strategies and carve a swathe of destruction through the superhero community. This reign of terror persisted until his eventual capture and subsequent cure, as his captors sought to sever the nefarious connection that bound him to Hydra. However, this iteration of Wolverine's existence was tragically short-lived, as he met his end at the hands of his own deadly claws. Ultimately, the indomitable spirit of heroism prevailed, as Hydra's designs were thwarted, albeit at the cost of Wolverine's autonomy and integrity. While his menacing presence posed a threatening challenge, he proved to be a far cry from the effective tool that Hydra had envisioned, ultimately affirming the resilience of the superhero community against insurmountable odds. Wolverine as the coveted Weapon X The Age of Apocalypse was an astonishing and probably one of the most famed narrative upheavals that swept through the X-Men universe during the late 1990s, delving into a haunting and dystopian future shaped by the absence of Xavier and the ascendancy of Apocalypse. In this chilling chronicle, Wolverine emerged as Weapon X, an enigmatic member of the X-Men whose identity was intertwined with the shadows of this altered reality. While still a part of the X-Men, this iteration of Wolverine inhabited a vastly different team than the one familiar to us. A palpable sense of feral ferocity distinguished him from his Earth-616 counterpart, and a brutal confrontation with Cyclops resulted in the loss of his hand, a disfigurement that still couldn't stifle the emergence of his adamantium claws through the remaining stump. Within the Age of Apocalypse, Weapon X found his allegiances aligned with the Magneto-led faction of the X-Men, embroiled in a desperate resistance against the overwhelming dominion of Apocalypse. In a poignant twist of fate, this reality saw Weapon X united in matrimony with Jean Grey, a union underscored by their shared determination to combat the malevolent rule of Apocalypse. As the echoes of this grim era reverberated, Weapon X's evolution took an unexpected turn, giving rise to the invulnerable persona of Weapon Omega. This transformation, fueled by augmentation at the hands of the enigmatic Celestials, positioned him as the self-proclaimed heir to Apocalypse, a portentous mantle that boded ill for the fate of Earth. Yet, even in the shadow of such daunting power, the indomitable spirit of Jean Grey emerged as a beacon of hope, ultimately leading to Weapon Omega's eventual downfall and the present of a fragile equilibrium. In the tapestry of the Age of Apocalypse, Wolverine's intricate journey wove threads of loyalty, sacrifice, and resilience, shaping a narrative that showcased the enduring spirit of heroism even within the darkest of timelines. Wolverine as the Dark Claw Within the captivating realm of the Amalgam line of comics, a tapestry was woven where iconic figures from Marvel and DC universes converged, giving rise to novel yet familiar amalgams of heroic personas. Among these intriguing unions emerged Dark Claw, a fusion of the enigmatic Wolverine and the vigilante paragon Batman. The genesis of Dark Claw's narrative unfolded with the tragic echoes of young Logan Wayne's past, a haunting parallel to the fateful demise of Batman's alter ego. Bearing witness to the heart-wrenching murder of his parents at the tender age of five, Logan's destiny took an unforeseen course as he became enmeshed in the enigmatic intricacies of the Weapon X program. Under its auspices, he underwent a transformation that bestowed upon him an adamantium-infused skeleton, a fusion of organic and metallic might. Emerging from the crucible of experimentation, Logan Wayne, now imbued with newfound powers, returned to the shadow streets of New Gotham City under the mantle of Dark Claw, embarking on a relentless quest to avenge the harrowing loss of his parents. The fusion of Batman's unyielding resolve and Wolverine's indomitable ferocity yielded a superhero of unparalleled potency, an embodiment of dual legacies that span two distinct universes. The synthesis of their traits engendered a persona that resonated with an awe-inspiring mystique, exuding a palpable aura of enigmatic determination.
Wolverine's coveted Old Man Logan. This rendition of Wolverine initially made his appearance in Fantastic Four number 558, but it was through the chronicles of his own series that Old Man Logan etched his most enduring legacy. In this alternate reality, Logan's existence was woven with the threads of family and resilience, yet the world around him bore the somber weight of villainous dominion. A dire landscape unfolded where supervillains reigned supreme, their repressive rule casting a shadow over a land bereft of many once mighty superheroes. Here, an elder Wolverine, once known as Logan, sought refuge with his kin in the clandestine enclaves of a world plunged into chaos. A poignant revelation unveiled a haunting truth. Logan had been ensnared in a web of manipulation, a puppeteer's design that led him to unwittingly unleash devastation upon the X-Men years earlier. Retreating from the mantle of Wolverine, Logan yearned for tranquility, a reprieve from a lifetime of turmoil. Yet destiny would not release its grip, thrusting him back into the fray, his formidable prowess rekindled by the nefarious machinations of a marauding faction known as the Hulks. Within this harsh milieu, Logan's unwavering devotion to his family became a driving force, propelling him to undertake a perilous cross-country journey alongside the sightless Hawkeye. Their mission, fraught with danger, aimed to secure the means to fend off impending eviction by the powerful Hulk gang. Tragically, despite his valiant efforts, Logan's hopes crumbled as the ruthless Hulk gang orchestrated the unthinkable, leading to the unforgivable loss of his cherished family. Fueled by a maelstrom of grief and fury, Logan's path converged with that of the original Hulk, culminating in a fateful clash that would alter the course of their reality. Following the intricate tapestry of his odyssey, Old Man Logan's fate would interact with the tapestry of the rebuilt mainstream Marvel Universe subsequent to the cataclysmic events of Secret Wars. Serving as the source material for the 2017 cinematic offering Logan, the foundational Old Man Logan narrative unfurled against a backdrop of post-apocalyptic desolation. Transcending time and dimensions, Old Man Logan's journey weaved a tapestry of strength forged through the crucible of experience. The wellspring of his determination, coupled with an unyielding desire to reshape history's narrative granted him a stature among the echelons of the most powerful incarnations of Wolverine. Wolverine as a Zombie Zombie Wolverine made his initial debut within the pages of Ultimate Fantastic Four number 22, and his eerie narrative found further exploration and expansion within the Marvel Zombies series. Fate dealt a grim hand to Wolverine, as he found himself ensnared in a relentless spiral of zombification, triggered by the bite of both Zombie Hawkeye and Zombie Captain America. This nightmarish affliction ruthlessly overpowered his indomitable healing factor, plunging him into the clutches of an ending decay. In a harrowing confrontation with the Silver Surfer, Wolverine's already tenuous existence suffered another blow as he lost his arm once more. Yet, his unyielding tenacity prevailed against the odds, enabling his survival. But a macabre twist of fortune awaited him, a reward forged in the crucible of cosmic consumption, the ghastly act of devouring the Silver Surfer himself. This gruesome feast endowed Wolverine with cosmic powers, elevating his might to unparalleled heights. In the wake of this unholy transformation, Wolverine's feral essence surged to the forefront, amplifying his ferocious nature to terrifying extremes. Within the unsettling tapestry of Marvel Zombies, a series that delved into the macabre realms of imagination, Wolverine's persona metamorphosed into a relentless force of nature, a harbinger of doom whose claws carved a path of devastation. His form was a paradox of strength and vulnerability, boasting a cybernetic right arm that stood as a testament to his battles, a prosthetic born from the crucible of combat against the invulnerable Silver Surfer. While his cosmic-infused might bestowed him with limitless power, his decaying flesh served as a poignant reminder of his morbid condition. This paradoxical state rendered him both robust and fragile, a walking embodiment of the horrors that pervaded the Marvel Zombies reality. In this dark iteration, Wolverine's struggle epitomized the grotesque elegance of a universe distorted by relentless decay, a chilling testament to the profound creativity that thrives within the realm of comic book storytelling. Wolverine from the MC2 universe. Before the days of Old Man Logan, Wolverine's paternal instincts were glimpsed in his role as a family man. Among his progeny, a daughter named Rena, who adopted the moniker Wild Thing, was born from his union with his wife, Electra. This Wolverine from the MC2 universe, embracing the joys of fatherhood, exhibited a tender and protective nature, cherishing his role as a devoted dad. Additionally, his familial legacy extended to a son named Hudson, born from a separate relationship. In a heartwarming departure from his typical narrative, this iteration of Wolverine Wolverine found solace and fulfillment in his family life, standing as a rare example of a character graced with a genuinely happy ending. However, destiny took a twist when Loki, the master of mischief, intervened. Amidst the upheaval of the last hero standing event, Wolverine was abruptly abducted by Loki, a turn of events that would test his resilience and challenge the harmony that he'd worked so hard to cultivate within his familial sphere. 
Wolverine as a vampire. Have you ever envisioned a vampiric incarnation of Wolverine? If so, your imagination aligns with the intriguing premise of this version. In a thought-provoking issue of the What If series, a captivating narrative unfolds wherein Wolverine emerges triumphant in a battle against Dracula, drinking his blood and undergoing a transformative metamorphosis into the new master of the vampire realm. Wolverine literally becomes the lord of all vampires. Alongside his fellow converted X-Men, he orchestrates a chilling takeover of New York City, vanquishing or turning any valiant heroes who dare to cross their path. The sinister influence of the vampiric X-Men spreads, prompting the government to impose a strict quarantine on the infested New York, a stark reflection of the cataclysmic events that transpired. Wolverine in Old Man Venom Continuing along the timeline set by Old Man Logan, this unique iteration of Wolverine found a critical juncture where his choices deviated from the known path. In a moment of revelation, he courageously disclosed the fate of Bruce Banner Jr.'s father, Bruce Banner, leading to a consequential divergence. However, rather than resulting in a heart-rending exchange of tears and understanding, a treacherous twist unfurled. The enigmatic Archangel, cunningly disguised as Angel, orchestrated a scheme that ensnared Logan. This perilous plot guided him and Bruce Jr. into a calculated ambush within the confines of the X-Mansion's danger room. Now, driven by a thirst for retribution, Bruce Jr. harbored intentions of ending Logan's life, with the sinister aim of utilizing his DNA to forge a legion of symbiote hybrid clones. In a whirlwind of events, the culmination of Bruce Jr.'s machinations took an unexpected turn, failing to manifest as intended. Amidst a gripping confrontation involving the invulnerable Venomsaurus Rex, a momentous clash with the entity granted Logan a powerful symbiote bond, forever altering the trajectory of his destiny as Wolverine. Wolverine as Counter-Earth's Hawkeye Within the expansive tapestry of Earth-616, a distinctive realm emerged, a creation not of alternate reality, but nestled within the very fabric of existence itself. This extraordinary plane, meticulously fashioned by the combined imagination of Franklin Richards, bore witness to an intriguing transformation, because here, the guise of Hawkeye found a new embodiment, distinct from the familiar Clint Barton. In this reimagined landscape, the enigmatic figure behind the Hawkeye mantle was none other than Wolverine. As a participant in the Avengers, Avengers within this unique domain, Wolverine, shrouded in the guise of Hawkeye, navigated the complex dynamics of this pocket dimension. Amidst this elaborate masquerade, a clandestine truth was known only to Captain America, the dual identity concealed beneath the Archer's facade. Though Wolverine's renowned claws had been relinquished in favor of a bow and quiver, the essence of his character remained unmistakable, subtly etched beneath the veneer of this new persona. Wolverine as a bounty pool hunter Amidst the rugged landscapes of the Wild West, Wolverine assumed an unexpected mantle of a bounty hunter. Within this untamed frontier, an amusing case of mistaken identity unfolded, and in a twist of fate, Wolverine found himself on the trail of Deadpool, incorrectly identifying him as the Deadpool Kid an understandable yet erroneous assumption. Throughout the unfolding narrative, this iteration of Wolverine showcased a temper of notably shorter fuse, a quality that stood out even for a character known for his fiery disposition. Evolution of Wolverine in Video Games Wolverine's iconic character naturally transcended the confines of comics, TV series, and live-action films, boldly stepping into the vibrant realm of video games, where his presence has been anything but ordinary. From the classic NES game, The Uncanny X-Men 1989, where he showcased his brown and tan costume, to the intriguing world of X-Men Madness in Murder World 1989, where he became a playable force within Murder World's chaos, Wolverine's digital journey has been impressive. His role expanded further in X-Men 2, Fall of the Mutants 1990, racing the PC version of the game. In Wolverine 1991, a solo endeavor, players were immersed in an action-packed escape mission from a treacherous island, a precursor to his appearance in Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge, where he became a playable character amidst a web of action. Venturing into to the arcade realm, Wolverine left his mark in both the arcade and home editions of X-Men 1992, donning his iconic brown and tan costume. Meanwhile, Wolverine Adamantium Rage 1994 showcased his yellow tiger stripe attire and introduced a recharging health system inspired by his healing factor. In addition to this, the Japanese fighting game arena welcomed Wolverine as a playable character in X-Men, Children of the Atom, and Marvel vs. Capcom series 1994-2001, a testament to his enduring popularity. Further diversifying his gameplay, X-Men Wolverine's Rage 2001 had players navigate a side-scrolling Game Boy Color adventure and battling Lady Deathstrike. An unexpected twist found Wolverine 
Wolverine as an unlockable skater in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 2001, bridging the gap between Marvel and the world of skateboarding. Continuing his gaming legacy, Wolverine left his mark in X-Men Mutant Academy 1 and 2, where his presence echoed the Capcom series. Apart from this, transitioning to the fighting arena, X-Men Next Dimension 2002 marked his entry, accompanied by the distinct voice of Stephen Bloom. Another unique storyline unfolded in X2, Wolverine's Revenge 2003, where Wolverine faced a threat to his adamantium skeleton. Now, Steve Bloom's voice acting continued to resonate in X-Men Legends 1 and 2 2004-2005, cementing Wolverine as a pivotal character. Notably, in The Ultimate Spider-Man 2005, Wolverine was the first boss in a memorable encounter, while Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects 2005 saw him enter the arena with Mark Aitchison's voice. Again, in X-Men The Official Game 2006, Hugh Jackman was allowed to reprise his role, adding depth to a storyline set between X2 and X-Men The Last Stand. The captivating journey continued with X-Men Origins Wolverine 2009, offering a distinctive timeline-switching narrative and earning praise for its graphic violence. Further collaborations with other Marvel heroes unfolded in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2, where Wolverine's role expanded alongside Thor, Captain America, Iron Man and Spider-Man. This legacy persisted in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 2011, featuring Wolverine as a powerful fighter and in the Facebook game Marvel Avengers Alliance 2012, where Wolverine's inclusion added a new layer to the gaming experience. Marvel's evolving video game universe embraced Wolverine through Marvel Heroes 2013, where he sported his astonishing X-Men outfit and a variety of costumes, leading way to Marvel Contest of Champions 2014, which featured Wolverine as a playable fighter, and finally, Marvel Future Fight. 2017 brought him into the X-Men expansion, defying previous restrictions. His appearance in Marvel Strike Force 2018 further broke barriers, defying the X-Men embargo. In addition to this, Wolverine's triumphant return in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order 2019, showcased his enduring legacy, underscored by Steve Bloom's reprised role. Epic Games' crossover event Fortnite 2020 further solidified his presence, and Marvel's Midnight Suns 2022 saw Wolverine reimagined in a tactical RPG. The pinnacle of Wolverine's digital journey awaited in Wolverine TBA, as Insomniac Games, renowned for their Marvel titles, prepare to unleash a solo Wolverine game, teasing an immersive and captivating experience. Wolverine's transformation from comic book hero to a multi-dimensional gaming icon is a testament to his enduring appeal and the ever-evolving nature of his character in the dynamic world of video games. In conclusion, no matter which iteration, version, or incarnation of the Wolverine we're talking about, this unstoppable adamantium clawed killing machine stands as an iconic figure on all grounds of the Marvel Universe, leaving a trail of destruction in his wake, be it as a superhero, an anti-hero, or as an antagonist. With this, we've most definitely covered every version of the Wolverine to ever exist in the Marvel Universe, leading us to the very end of this video. Which is your favorite version of the Wolverine? Please don't forget to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment box below. And if you liked our content, don't forget forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.